if you like this video, <laughs> like, share it, subscribe, and we will see you next time. You. Enjoy the podcast. All right. <clears throat> you ready? Ready for some football? Football. On a Sunday night party. No. Okay, dude. What's up, y'all? This is your second favorite podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Nikki Nico. G. <laughs> Nico G. And this is my lovely girlfriend, Miss Jada. Hi. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> need a summer spot. <laughs> it is like it was nothing. How are you doing, babe? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. It's like we always get into some nice intellect conversation before the podcast. Before. And then, and then be wondering what to talk about. Yeah. Well. Well. Now we got something. We do. Because you cut us off. Yep. We be like, all right, stop. We should, <laughs> we should talk about this on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Rumble is on tonight. I don't. Explain. <laughs> what you, what? Explain what that is. Oh, you really want me to talk about it? Yeah. I was just playing. Um, It's a WWE event. It happens once a year. Um, most of the time, it's been a 30-man Royal Rumble. First person, I mean, not the first person. It's 30 people come in, I think, after 90 seconds. Is it 90 seconds? could be 90 minutes. I think it's like 90 seconds or whatever. And a um, new person has come in. A lot of times, that showcases like a new person to come into the ring. Um, we don't know. I mean, the basically, whoever wins gets the uh title shot for the WWE championship. Okay. I think it's the I think it's strictly the WWE championship. I don't think it's like for any title you're choosing. Yeah, I think it's for the WWE championship. And a lot of times it's for uh WrestleMania. You don't want to hold it. Oh no don't get that one. How does it break? It's cause I was trying to put a mic on it and it split. Oh dang I think the That's money. I think yours is somewhere. Don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah, I'll wait. It's somewhere over there in that it's table, though. It's right there. Oh. Well, that's I can sad. still use this, though, right? It, well, what are you going to put it on? No, if I get that one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this episode is brought to you by Air. No, it's not. That'd be kind of cool, though. If WWE was like, I should have wore mine. If I, I didn't think about that. Could have wore mine. Get a hint to it. Oh no, I ain't think nothing of it. It's nice to what see you, you in it. With a shirt, a shirt about it. Mm, I'm gonna be it on it. So cute when we was matching in our mm. on our date until the helicopter. We look so cute wearing it. Part of the uh, Balor Club. I wish you watched it. You would get it more. <laughs> this is actually they're making more of the the Balor Club a thing now. Oh good. They actually got people. Um. What was we talking about before? You said Royal Rumble. You were talking about. Well, I know it's about the Royal Rumble, but it oh, comes we on later on tonight. Uh, weight changes in a relationship. Weight changes. Okay, so there's always been a thing that I guess men and women always have about talking about each other's weight. You know, they always say you should love me how I am, which it makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times it was always like, what do you, what, how do you approach a situation when your partner is getting bigger or losing weight or even, even losing weight? Mm -hmm. That's what I meant to say. Gaining weight or losing weight. Yeah, because that could be unhealthy too. Right. So uh, I remember having this conversation like in school a while ago about, I would say something. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want you to get unhealthy big. I don't mind you getting a little big, but. It's just like when you start getting unhealthy big, it's like when it's like you're not supposed to be that size. I think it should be okay to say something. Yeah. Don't bash her for it. But I remember mentioning that and someone was like, oh, no, you shouldn't be shaming her. Like, I don't feel like I'm shaming her. I'm just telling her that, you know, you're gaining some weight. It's hard to approach that situation. I ain't going to be like, you know, you're kind of gaining weight. <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know how to approach it, but I would like you to tell me. If I'm getting a little too big, but in your case, you don't really care if I get big. <laughs> but I understand if you if I was getting unhealthy in some kind of way, yeah. you will let me know. Or you'll try to, you know, 
put your foot down, you know, whatever. Yeah. So that's kind of the point I'm trying to make. But how would you, how would you, I'm trying to figure like. Okay. Well, I know for a fact, like I've actually witnessed this. When women get pregnant, Mm -hmm. men start to get bigger. Right. They get big at the same time. So I don't, I don't like change already. So if I notice that you're getting like double neck big and (laughs) yeah what you call it uh little flabby arms gelatin arms big then i'm like (laughs) poo you you gotta trim it up a little bit you losing a lot of i mean you gaining a lot of weight and Mm -hmm. i don't want to see you sitting on a couch and not able to get back up crazy thing is you don't notice it at the time you don't it just gracefully happens and you're just like yeah you got big. But I noticed you got skinnier, so hopefully. That's because I'm actually trying to do something. Yeah, and I don't see you every day. So. Yeah, that too. Maybe it's the distance. Maybe I ain't did anything at all. And you just haven't seen me. And the black makes me a little more slimmy. Yeah. You look good in black. Thank you. Hashtag, you look good in black. What if we start making the hashtags that are just too long? Because you know we kind of went backwards of make, making things smaller. Mm-hmm. And now we're making things bigger. You are hyphenating them? Yeah. Well, yeah. But what if they stopped it? What if that was the trend of life? <laughs> and it was just like... That's annoying. I actually don't like long hashtags. That's yeah, annoying. No. <laughs> just make that a thing. Hashtag, get your computer fixed on a Tuesday. <laughs> and that's trending worldwide. Hashtag, Valentine's Day teddy bears. <laughs> I like how you said teddy bears. And try to put more emphasis on it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think about that. That was funny though. Speaking of Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. that's coming up. Is it? Is the podcast gonna fall on that day? Let's see. Ooh, that'd have been interesting. We're going, we're going to do what we always been doing: saying our early things <laughs> and then say it again. Mm-hmm. Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday, so. Oh no. Yeah. We'll be there. We'll be up before before it. It's weird to fall on a Wednesday. I mean, ain't nobody doing nothing. Everybody, it's actually. I think high everybody who's in school loves it because that's, that's when they get the to week. show they live on the weekday. I hate it. Yeah, stupid people. <laughs> stupid people. Yeah, I don't understand the, the whole spending so much and in high school, and you're just like, first of all, I never understood where these people get their money from. I guess their parents when they're like sixteen or seventeen, they could have a job, mm-hmm. and yeah, they could. It could be getting from their parents as well. Let me spit it. Buku. They do spend a lot of money. And I can't imagine somebody saying, here, here's $100. Go get your girlfriend something nice. Can't. Mm. Oh, Valentine's Day? Especially not a colored family. Dog. Mm. I can't see a colored family doing that. I could. Not even a Hispanic family. I could. <laughs> I definitely could. For both. You. It's kind of what I was around. So it ain't really like. Yeah. <laughs> it got no examples. But no, I don't think I don't see a situation where somebody's willing to give a hundred dollars for something, but they ask for it and they're just like, all right. Yeah. Like, can I if you at the store, can I get this for her for Valentine's Day? Yeah. Which is like here. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. thinking though, like if I had a kid though. I mean, I'm probably, yeah, I'm yeah. probably trying it's to make a look for high school. It's actually cute. It's a cute thing, but I'm like, don't stretch yourself out for yeah, it. Yeah. Just get some that's nice and sentimental. Don't be there you extra. Go. Hashtag, don't stress yourself out on Valentine's Day. It's not that serious. Yeah. There you go. That's the whole hashtag. (laughs) It's not going to determine the rest of your relationship. There you go. That's the second part of the. (laughs) The second part of the hashtag. I said pound. (laughs) You can't know the pound symbol. Jeez. What's that pound symbol y'all be using? It's called a hashtag, Grandma. (laughs) It's called a hashtag, Grandma. Oh, you, you think we're gonna see that on tombstones? Hashtags? Oh, that would be funny. And it's just a normal thing. Yeah. That would be so funny. And it's just normal. Hashtag lived a good life. Hashtag was a good dad. Yeah, that's oh gosh. Hashtag mom. Hashtag dad. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag died in 1974. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh no. That is oh good. no. And it's it's crazy because it don't seem that far fetched. Yes, it really don't. It don't seem like it's hashtag that's great father, right. hashtag great son, <laughs> hashtag forever, 
in our hearts. Wonderful husband. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't seen it, and I'm pretty sure it's out there somewhere. I Somebody's think, done that. Yeah. They had to. They had to. Like, I've seen tombstones personalized for teens. Like, I've seen, like, a Falcon's tombstone. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's a lot of money, first of all. And it was marble. And I was like, dang. Mm. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That's Imagine some- having uh, those grave diggers put a hole in your casket. I'd be mad. Oh, like just on accident or something? Yeah. What are they, what are they digging up your stuff for? Putting you in there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, would they scratch it? Yeah. Oh, boy, I'd be so mad. I'd be be looking down. All and be like, these Yo. rodents can now get really easy at this. <laughs> Scratch him out. This junk is clean as. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even think of the name. Casket ever. I was thinking of Tombstone. <laughs> so I was like, that wouldn't make sense. Nice, polished casket. Nah, just cremate me. You think so? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't want. I feel like I'm putting burden on people for trying to give me a casket. Mm-hmm. You don't need to preserve this body. Yeah. Sorry, my memories. If only this was Egypt. Oh, so you get wrapped up? Mummified. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't they stuff you? in a jar. No. They don't stuff you? Mm-hmm. I thought they stuff you. They take your organs and put it in a jar. And they don't stuff you at all? No. They <laughs> they put your body in like some baking soda and salt and then sit you outside in the sun. It seems too modern of a thing to I say. I mean, that baking soda, but yeah. they made it with like salt and something. It's like Cinder saying that. They use like gain detergent. <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> yeah, it's the same ingredients. It's not. It, of course, they didn't use gain detergent. <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong time. Yeah. You're wrong. <laughs> that's how you know somebody wrong. No, you're wrong. Bro, I saw it. Oh man, I gotta. I'm gonna make a video. Probably, uh, I doubt I'll make it before this video comes out. Mm-hmm. I want to make a video. No, no, no. It's gonna be one of my segments. Nope, it's not because I'm gonna say it. Uh, have you ever been to the homepage of Wikipedia? No. No one has ever been to the. No, I don't know about no one. I never looked up Wikipedia.com mm-hmm. and then searched something. Yeah, and for some reason that's the first thing that pops up on yeah. Google, Cause Bing, all of that. Because it's the most thing people click on. It might not be the right information, but it's the first thing you click on. That's crazy. And people that's say, what gets don't use get Wikipedia, it up there. but it's. Like what else am I gonna use? Because a lot of people, they like it. It's like quick information. Yeah. So, even though it may not be right, because every time like you be looking up an artist or a celebrity or something, it's always like IMDb and then Wikipedia mm-hmm. or Wikipedia IMDb. It's like anybody could put that information up there, but some of them are people actually trying to get that information together. Mm-hmm. So it could be right, but. Um, when they have their sources at the bottom, yeah. Right. Most of them are right when they have those. I, I was curious. I was always curious about that. What if you had like the source? We figured out that that source that they had not Wikipedia, but like a legit place got it from this place, and then we figure out that place was bad. Do everything just mess up from them? Like, do they become probably? Not? They become the do not use. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe think about that one day because some it was something about uh, it was around the time when we figured out Pluto wasn't a planet, <laughs> and I was just like, I, ever since then I was like, you could, they could just switch up anything and just be like, you know what? Like what they did the, with the blood pressure thing. Yeah, that pissed me off. Yeah. So she's not your grandma; she's your cousin's stepmom. Wait, what are you talking about? Christy, oh, you said no names. Oh, my my family. Yeah. What did that have to do with the blood pressure? She man? was talking about how doctors have dropped blood pressure levels. Like, she, no, they dropped the stats of what's high blood pressure. That's when I first heard it. Oh, she yeah, was talking yeah, about yeah, that yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's kind of the same thing. Yeah, it is. Like, that's supposed to be the norm, and now you just, no, that's not what it is. Soon they're going to start identifying people. Do. Well, actually, they're doing that now. Never yeah. mind. They do that like with milk. You know, you see all these things. Got milk. Get you know, drink milk. Drink enough milk. Now I'm saying milk now is bad. Milk for is you. bad for you. And do it with eggs. Yep. 
it's eggs, you know, it's great protein in it. Nope, they eat, don't eat, can't eat eggs. So it's like, just live your life and and don't kill yourself. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what else to say, but that just it's so hard to just live by the code because mm-hmm. it's it's always changing. I think that's what makes it hard for you to actually follow it. Going back to the mm-hmm. to the weight thing, yeah. If you started to get really skinny, I would be really mad at you. Really mad at me? Yeah, I'd be, I, more, I'd be more mad if you got fat. <laughs> huh? I don't want you super skinny. We're going to start a fire together. Look how skinny I am. But you don't want to be super fat either? Is that what it is? I'd probably be more accepting if you're... Oh, I thought you said you'd be even more mad at me if I got fat. No, I'd be more mad at you being skinny than fat. Than fat. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll keep that in mind. I think the lowest I could get is 220 anyway. So I think like, mm-hmm. yeah. But then I'll just gain. I'll still probably have the same wideness. Oh, okay. Because it's not much fat I could lose. It's just kind of, well, my bones are still. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that was big a thing. Big bones. <laughs> He's like, man, you're not big boning, man. There's no such thing as big bone people. I think there is. I, was gonna say, I think people are built. Yeah, people big built big, and they can't really lose a lot of mass or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm proof of that. <laughs> you don't think you can gain much? You could just define yours. Hopefully, I do. Yeah. Hopefully. Anyways, um, we could talk about how when we were at the restaurant, we were talking about that guy. What restaurant? That guy. Restaurant. I'm trying to figure out where to start. Okay, so we were at this Vietnamese restaurant that we are frequently going to lately. Uh huh. And the guy we were sitting. Oh. Is this next to? <laughs> on our on your left, my right. Yeah. So yeah, just basically where y'all standing. And <laughs> I was eavesdropping. I don't know about him, but I was eavesdropping. Yeah, I was listening. They I couldn't mad, help it. Yeah, <laughs> they were mad <laughs> close to us. He was talking too loud. Couldn't help but listen. Mm-hmm. But the guy was talking about how this round trip was only like two hundred dollars, and it was out of the country. Mm-hmm. So he was just bragging about how the trip is only two hundred dollars. Um, you could do whatever you want in the hotel. Like he was saying, plus the hotel. Like he was just the guy that was saying like he knew stuff. Yeah. Like he knew a discounted <laughs> price or yeah. just like he knew or stuff. And then the guy who he was talking to was like, you sure? I don't think so. Because it's like, he said it's at least like a thousand to get to such and such. He's like, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> but you spent it, he said a thousand, that's it. That's it. It's <laughs> a big jump. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy was like, well, then you won't be able to do nothing. Spend a thousand dollars on a trip. He said, you're right. <laughs> yeah, That's, people are not really. That confident. was so funny. It was like he was trying so hard to impress him with knowledge that he just kept going. Mm, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's right. Are you sure? Because <laughs> it was just so. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing about it afterwards. I thought you would still remember. Yeah, I did. As soon as you started talking about oh, okay. who he was, yeah, I do remember it. They, yeah, because those people like want to say something, but when you start sound like you know what you're talking about, I was like, yeah, oh, never mind, my bad. I mean, okay, I didn't know you knew better. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know you knew. <laughs> let me let now. Let me. It was so based bad. off the information you gave me. This is what I, this is what I was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Like, I okay, I get this thousand dollars, but I'm saying like initially you put like two hundred dollars down on the hotel. <laughs> I well, only know hotels that go down from like four hundred dollars. Well, when you go to this program, <laughs> the line just get worse and worse. Yes, like, it's because sometimes people see something and then they want to tell you, yeah. but not really fact check. Yes, like I I, that's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. I think the only time I've ever backtracked from what I'm trying to say is like, I a lot of times my answers are initially based off of the first thing that comes to my mind, and off of, also with some observation. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, there's, like, this track, and it was, like, how many laps around would it be a mile? My first thing, I was, like, one time, I was like, really? I was, like, 
I would assume it's like surrounded by five different baseball fields. Mm-hmm. Like, why wouldn't it be a mile all the way around? Mm-hmm. And he was like, huh. Well, I don't think it's that. I was like, I mean, you may be right. But, I mean, that wasn't really a good example because I'm still kind of like, you asked me the question. Yeah. Why are you doubting me? <laughs> don't doubt me. <laughs> but it, it was uh, once around once around and halfway. It's a mile. Mm-hmm. Which I would have think surrounding baseball fields, you at least, I don't know. I, I thought it would be a mile just all the way around. But the the the, the moral of that situation, fact well, check. Yeah, I was going to say, don't say nothing without fact checking. <laughs> just fact check. Because if you start sounding crazy and you want to start up a conversation. Hashtag. The uh, whole thing was a hashtag. Which you just yeah, yeah. <laughs> hashtag fact check. Because you don't want to sound crazy <laughs> on a conversation. It was a good one. I like this. <laughs> Should I just name this hashtag or should I hashtag it the episode that we hashtag a lot of stuff? Yes. (laughs) 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 So the past couple of days we were looking at um, Nikki's home videos. Made me want to look at mine. Oh, you said Nikki and you threw me off. So I'm just like, Nikki, who's that? You're you're (laughs) Nikki. Yeah, it's nice to remnants one one day i'm probably gonna record this podcast with the camcorder maybe 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 i don't think it's wide enough i don't think i can see much through it put it in a time capsule <laughs> do people still make com- time capsules in like minnesota <laughs> <laughs> why minnesota i feel like it's just a rural area and they need stuff like that to show attraction i feel like that about kansas yeah she does not have for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Extra. Um, I don't want to find those home videos, though. Yeah. If you have home videos, keep them. <laughs> if you have home videos, send it to us on email. I mean, now <laughs> everything is posted, so you can kind of always find. No, that's what I don't understand. People say it's always on the internet, it's always there. I be trying to find old stuff that I posted, and I can't find it. I always think that saying goes towards um, bad stuff. Mm. Like, if you tweet something stupid, yeah, it's always going to be there because somebody done took it. But if no one knows you, per se, mm-hmm. you delete it, it's gone. Now, granted, there's, like, certain code and metadata and, you know, that deep stuff where, like, uh, there was an incident over at... I'm not going to say it. Just whatever. There was a situation over there in the UK mm-hmm. that this one guy had some allegations towards him, but the girl just deleted messages in between to make it seem like, you know, it felt like it went with his sto- went with her story. Mm-hmm. And then we figured out that there's a way that you can look at those messages mm-hmm. as she did it. But, you know, what we see, you don't see nothing. But if you uncode it, you see all those in little so, empty messages. Yeah. Is it still on? Yeah. Okay. It's 24. When you do some deep sea diving, <laughs> that's all yeah. you think of. So, I mean, I think, like, in that sense, I think there is a way to get um, videos and pictures. But I don't, we don't, we normal non coding people oh, okay. don't know how it works. So, if you were, like, going to work for a corporate office, they would start digging in your stuff. Yeah, you could. They could probably find out some stuff. I mean, I'm I'm not surprised if I delete a photo of me, they can find it somehow. Yeah. Okay. I understand. So even that oh actually, good example. Um, I remember a couple of years ago we looked up a we, I think like me and Darren was just looking up our names mm-hmm. and there was a picture that popped up on Google. You can blow it up, but it wasn't on the page that it used to be on. So there's no way to delete that. It says page not found, but yet there's a picture. Yeah, I think if I really dig for two girls in one cup, I might find it. Okay. Are you going off the rail again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's out I there, though. I slipped for a second. <laughs> Just pick me back up. It's the things you be thinking about right there. Oh, want to say. Don't even think about I don't care. I like the way you think, but it's just the things you choose to say. Like, oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can find the the full series of hey arnold oh yeah 
I'm, I hope I did too. But you go to that route. Because I was just thinking of something that went viral. and That's crazy that they went viral. For. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that was like at the peak of social media. The peak? Kind of. I think it's just, are you saying like start? No, like when social media was like, yeah, people really do dirty Because I feel like we're people, at the peak. Really? I think that's what when, like, we know what social media can do. Oh. That's why yeah. I was saying, you saying peak, are you saying peak like where it's been noticed? No, I'm I'm saying like people really do dirty things on social media. Yeah, and I, internet. Yeah, internet. Yeah. Why did I say social media? I was it know. not on Facebook? It was on Facebook, but we I think that's more of an internet thing. Yeah, it is. You right. on how easy you can access it. Social media is like all this epidemic when someone says something, You're everybody right. knows, You're right? And because they use social media, I have to say, as much as internet has been a great thing yeah i still don't like it i still don't like the internet yeah no sometimes i'm just like well this this kind of stems off of just me being nostalgic about things it's like when i was like five six seven eight i mean all the way to probably 10 or 11 mm-hmm. there was no i didn't really wasn't on social media i didn't really get on anything until like 13 or 14 is when I got on MySpace. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Ooh, you're, well, and 12, even then, 12, when you got on MySpace, you had to get a desktop or you had yeah. to be on a computer sitting there. That's, it, it was weird to think that you had this on your phone. Yeah. I thought that was one. Like, I can't even see nothing. Like, it doesn't look the same thing on the desktop. Yeah. I remember complaining about that. And I was like, I don't like, I don't, I don't, why would I want an app? I don't remember saying the app, though. I just remember. No, because it wasn't an app. It was you had to type in the website. Yeah. On the phone, on the phone. Why am I so old? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had to type it on, on the phone. On, the, on this walkie-talkie <laughs> looking thing. Remember next tail? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. Yes. Next tail. Oh man. <laughs> that sounds like Boost Mobile a little bit too. Maybe I. I think they. No, next tail is from Sprint. I think. I know the made me think of Boost Mobile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you I at? Get you though. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 I thought that was so cool to have a phone like a walkie-talkie. Mm-hmm. But I don't, the only thing you could do it was with other Nextel people. Yeah, shame so, on them. Yeah, but yeah, we lived in a time well as kids that yeah. internet didn't consume our life. I'm trying to remember what we used to do. I could just say I was playing my cousins, and we played outside a lot. We play, yeah, I played outside. I played a lot of game systems though. Okay. And I didn't care about online games. Yeah. I was like, I loved multiplayer because obviously I like playing with other people, but. Mm-hmm. That was it. And I played like computer games. I still mm-hmm. had those. I had my roller goes tycoon. I had my backyard baseball. So I still play stuff on the computer, but I didn't have to get on the internet for anything. Yeah. But now it's like, you know, I actually remember thinking that I don't need a computer when I move out. Oh, now it's wow. like now you got three screens in one room. <laughs> hey. What's not? <laughs> but it's just like I can't imagine not having one. Yeah, I think that's why parenting. When parenting comes involved, I'm not doing no. You can't have a tablet. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna give you a tablet so you can shut up. I'm gonna give you a book. Yeah, sit no, there. And yeah, read it. I'm not giving my kid no tablet. I I can't stand seeing little kids. Yeah, and the parents just give it to them to shut them up or get their attention while they're shopping or something. I'm like, no, give right. them like a little yo yo or something. I know there's like a parent out there that's like. <laughs> Wait, wait till you get a kid. Yeah, probably. You gonna, that's going to be what you resort to. Probably so. And I get it. I get why you do it. That's yeah. that's the understanding. Yeah, I'm not shaming y'all. Yeah. I'm saying I won't do I just that. don't want to resort to it. Because resort to it. Yeah, because yeah, I need my child to be able to, I say I say not live without it, but uh-huh. just ex- be entertained yeah. by simple things. Right. Right. Like I am not good with a map, and people joke. Older people joke about all the time. What if your phone goes dead? I'm just gonna be lost. I was, boy. I told you about <laughs> when I was almost lost. You did? I had to go pick up Elijah. He was getting a tattoo. I was. Um, Is it was it in Kennesaw? It was so easy for me to get lost in Kennesaw. It was off of 85, and I'm not well at. I'm not good at 85, and okay. it was. Okay. Downtown. It was in Atlanta. I mean, it was like right outside. I mean, it was in Atlanta. It wasn't right outside. But I was coming from 
first of all, he did his, in his car. His thing doesn't work, so I couldn't charge my phone. Yeah, I was sitting there trying to remember where to turn. This I could go here. A couple miles up, I had to go here. Got to exit through here because mm-hmm. it was like three percent. And I was like, by the time I start rolling down there, mm-hmm. and I didn't know when he was gonna be done. And then he texted me and was like, "You bring something to eat because he's getting hungry sitting there." I thought he was done. Mm-hmm. That's why he told me that. And I was like, "All right, cool." So I was I left out, got on the highway. I mean, I'm on this side of town now. I just came from where he was, and on my side of town. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I drove so far. There ain't not much to do. I, I don't know what to do in Atlanta. I, I feel so closed in. You're crazy. I, I feel have closed so much in. Fun. Now I get it. I, I get the Atlanta. excitement in Atlanta, but I just I feel closed in. I like I like to go into a parking lot. Now I get it. There's some parking lots in Atlanta, but I'm just like mm-hmm. I don't. I want to want to just get to a parking lot. I'm not trying to. Click over. You gotta, you gotta get here. You gotta get to this public. Yeah, that go. road is ridiculous. Yeah, it's annoying. So uh, he was driving down. I drove down twenty, and when it veers off the seventy five, eighty five is when it died. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to go here. I'm supposed to go to this exit. What's we'll to do here? Let's go to this exit. Did you do it the right way? Yeah, I got it. I got there. Okay. I got there. Good for you. Boy, I was scared though. And then that's what made me really was like, I need to start learning roads because this yeah. is. This, just, I could say that all the time, but I still get lost. Yeah. There's one time I went to Kennesaw to get my piercing, and I was with somebody who didn't have a reliable phone. <laughs> right, right. And my phone died. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, just write it down. Like, get the directions real quick and write it down. And then, I don't know what happened. I think we used the directions, and then they stopped working. Because we ended up, like, all the way in... Who's, who's North of Kansas? I don't know. We ended up somewhere else. And then we just stopped at a car dealership and asked him which way it was Douglasville. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 20 right up there. Yeah. Oh. That's tough, man. I don't know where I'm going, so don't ask me. I am really bad with direction. They say, they say that our generation is going to lose our mo- not mobility. What's it called? Our sense of direction. Mm-hmm. That part of our brain is going is starting to ple- it's starting to get smaller and smaller. We're not really aware of where we're going. Mm-hmm. Something like that. But like we were saying, that we're not really going to, we don't really know roads by roads. I know things about landmarks. Mm-hmm. I don't really know about roads. Yeah. So I was always like that when I was little, though. Even uh-huh. when I was walking to school, up in Philly, you do not get the yellow bus. You get <laughs> the SEPTA, which is public pre- transportation. Um, I, don't, I can't remember what SEPTA stands for. Um <laughs> You get public transportation. If you go to a charter school, you possibly can get the yellow bus, but it's usually for kids who are under under middle school, so like fifth grade and mm-hmm. under, get the yellow bus in charter schools. But I had to learn how to get to school, and Siani had to walk me every morning to uh, my school because I didn't know how to get there. Right. And she was like, just remember, when you get to that store, make a right. <laughs> get to that store, make a left. <laughs> we did not look at streets. Mm-hmm. One day, somebody asked me what school I went to. And he was like, over there on such and such road? I was like, I don't know. I just know there's a gate in front of it. <laughs> I know what it looked like when I get there. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I suck at roads. So that's been like a young me. So I'm like, I ain't going to change. <laughs> Duh. Uh, from this day forward, I'm not going to change. <laughs> I'm not going to remember these roads. <laughs> Make a okay. promise to yourself. That's what, but I feel like when you move, like you say, if you don't live here anymore, and you move and you gotta like go to the same place or s- same other places, you you end up learning in the streets. Yeah, because if you don't, you're gonna lo- be lost. Yeah, like I don't know the roads around me. I still don't. Really? Oh, that's crazy. I just know what it looked like to get to your house. Yeah. I, every day I ask you for your address. You sure do. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> and then when I'm like somewhere left and I don't know how to get to a 20, mm-hmm. I just do New Manchester High School with my GPS. <laughs> That's terrible. I didn't know your address for the long time. <laughs> it's like, all right, New Manchester High School. <laughs> okay, what were you doing when you made your MySpace account? Who was with you? I went with no one when I made it. Oh, you just made it by yourself? Yeah. Okay. What about a Facebook? 
Were you allowed to have a Facebook? Yeah. I mean, I don't think I was ever told that I couldn't. Oh, well, no. I wasn't told. Mm. I don't even think my parents was really aware that I had social media stuff. Mm. But I guess, are you, are you saying like, was I in a relationship with someone? Or are you no. just saying, no. just, did someone help me out, make it, help yeah. me make it? Yeah. Or the MySpace and the Facebook, either or. No. I think I made Facebook because MySpace was getting lame. It sure was. <laughs> it and, was trickling down fast. And it was kind of fun. But Facebook, you was able to poke, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was a big thing. That was kind of like a conversational starter. Sure just poke. And then you poke back and be like, oh, oh she poking back. What's up then? What's up? <laughs> and then you message her. That's how you started. And then I thought it was kind of cool. The, the, the coolest thing about MySpace, though, was seeing all those notifications on the side. It was like as soon as you log in, it's like new message, new friend request, new this, mm-hmm. new that. And I was like, oh, that like popular, <laughs> popular. But you had random people in your top. <laughs> that was a special spot. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I started changing it maybe within a year or two when mm-hmm. I switched over. So that was it. Was fun while it lasted. I don't. You know what though? Now that you're bringing up these transitions, I remember the transition from MySpace to Facebook. Mm-hmm. I was kind of on tag during the myspace days as well though mm-hmm. which i kind of feel like tag was more like a dating site mm-hmm. i mean it was still formatted like that but whatever um i want to know how did i i made a twitter so i made a twitter in 09 but it was really yeah Oof. I, I just couldn't really like tweet anything but i thought it was kind of a cool concept because that's what i used facebook for in my space was like I like the status part. I didn't really post pictures like that until later later on. And then I made a Tumblr. Oh. Hmm. Uh, what I wanna know. Cause I be sometimes Instagram stalking you and I Twitter stalk you sometimes. <laughs> I wanna know what was going why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> that just seems like a weird thing to say casually. You know, I used to stalk you, but uh so I wanna know what was going through <laughs> your mind when you wrote are you talking uh, about an actual status that I put up? Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, tweet. Yeah. Is this recent? No. Okay, go ahead. But you, I know, I'm sure you remember it because mm-hmm. you put it on Instagram too. Right. You said my first love is going to be my uh, something, my last relationship or my last my marriage, something like that. The next girl that I say I love you to, yeah. is going to be my wife. Yeah. Be- because I was. Are you going through it? Because I felt like. <laughs> yeah, I was going through it. <laughs> I was going through it because I was like that the the love you thing was like a thing that I just always used to say because mm-hmm. we're in a relationship. I must love you, mm-hmm. and I didn't really think like deep love, which is like I like you, and it's just a better way of saying it because we're together. So I was like, that's how it mostly goes back in those days, right? Yep. And then when I, you know, did my whole breakup thing, it was kind of like, I'm like, did I really love her? So I was like, I don't think I did, because I would have fought, or I would have done something else, but I didn't. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could have been just fed up, but still, I was just like, and then that's when that came to my mind. I was like, yeah, next time I say I love you, it would be okay. someone I'm actually going to be with. I can't imagine you at all in your feelings. No. Oh, at I was all. I was very frustrated. Okay. I was more frustrated than sad. No, just in your feelings can be anything. Yeah. I was in there though. I was deep in I those feelings. I cannot imagine you at all. It's because so I'm not, I'm not showing it to people though. Yeah. I keep it in, but I talk about it. And that's how I cope with everything. I just talk mm-hmm. and just start venting. Mm-hmm. If I would have made my, if I would have really pushed my YouTube channel at that time, if I did Nico Rambles back in those days, mm-hmm. we would have had a lot of relationship videos. Why your girlfriend always <laughs> mad when you text other girls? Uh, I used my old channel was What You Saying TV, and I used to always want to start off my um things was uh what is it what you, what you what you think I don't know it was cheesy whatever it was it was very cheesy mm-hmm. and it was gonna start off something like you know um uh, what if you well what's up with something it was always some it was gonna be something cheesy mm-hmm. but it would have been kind of a cool 
thing to have back in those days. And that was like 2010, 2011. I was still making videos. So what was what year was that when you and Darren and Chris and Deke? It's like was an interview at this point. Um, it, is, <laughs> it was I high like school. Asking, that was high school. It had or? to be because I remember going to school and people actually listened to our songs. Yeah, I remember me and Siani was. We yeah. was trying hard to support. We was trying. You ain't like them. No. You ain't like my songs. It wasn't just your songs. It was well, DQ and Darren. You like the one. Well. I know there was one we liked. Well, all all of y'all was together, and Chris was in it too. I don't Chris know. was not. I think you said Chris this before. Was in one song. He was not in our song. I remember seeing his picture on there when y'all had that little slideshow looking. Chris at was probably on it because he made our beats. Oh, okay then. All right, but he wasn't on. He wasn't I remember rapping. seeing his picture on there. Yeah, 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 I get that. Like one time we, uh, <laughs> Elijah and Aaron, did a little. We had a group thing. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Yeah. I don't like the name either. Was it G Dub? No, <laughs> it was it, it's something now now older. What is it? It was Plan B, <laughs> and I don't understand why we picked that name. <laughs> In some way, shape, or form, it was right in all y'all minds, and Darren just went along with it. I don't know why it was. I have no idea why we picked that name. Cause I even had the cover. I did like them as a cartoon version, and I had a blueprint in the background. Mm-hmm. I don't know why that name worked. Why I wanted that name? Cause the contraceptive pill was not made yet. I didn't know anything about that thing. I mean, it was 2010. I wouldn't assume that it wasn't a. Well, oh no, that was middle school. We did that in middle school. Yeah. What to say? It was that was kind of. Yeah. Mm. It was fun though. I mean, it was fun making music. I just did it for just cause you needed somebody else to feature on the song. Yeah. But it was cool. Yeah. A lot of people were like, I didn't know you rap, dude. I didn't know you rap. I was like, I don't really rap. Just hop on the song. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't that serious. Uh, then I started doing spoofs. It was uh, coming to my Waffle House. My oh, yeah. Coming to my Waffle House, Waffle House, Waffle House. I still love that song. <laughs> then I did a um, Play-Doh. It was me and my cousin on that one. Play-Doh, Play-Doh, Play-Doh. It was like headlines. But it was play though. Yes. Oh man. I need to do spoofs again. Make an announcement here today. Nico is making some spoofs. You can do it anyway. On you a could. regular day. On a regular day. Yeah, I want to. Because that's what made me want to do YouTube videos in the first place. I was like really li- listening to Weird Al. Um, it was like uh there was a couple other people, like uh Turquoise Jeep. Mm-hmm. They make they didn't really make spoofs. They just make funny songs. But I was really into that, and then I was into skits. Oh, well, you know, if you go to a radio interview, you can give them this podcast tape when they ask you for your, like, you know how you go to an audition yeah. and they ask you for tapes. Can I just give them a link? Yeah, see, I didn't have tapes anymore. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Give them a set tape. Yeah. <laughs> this is the thing I said. Check that out. Check Listen on, to that. Check out my tape. Check out my tape. Check out my tape, man. That's on my tape. But when I made my first MySpace, I was my bad. Was what? I don't know. How? What was? Second. How was you feeling when you? Was that what the question was? How was you feeling? No. So what was I doing? What was you doing? And when who you, was I with? Uh, when I made my, made my first MySpace, I was with. I think I was with my brother both times when I made my, made my MySpace and my Facebook mm-hmm. because we weren't allowed to have any of those. Really? But when I went to my dad's house. <laughs> My dad was never like around the monitor. Doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. But it was weird because he always thought that me and my brother had a thing. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> my brother my dad just thought that all boys were boys. They didn't care. Yeah. Who we were. We were technically yeah. step brother and sister. At that time they weren't married yet. Right. So but we still grew up together. But at that time my dad was like, Leave the door open. Stuff like that. Like, of course, I'm going to lead it to her. Okay. Why do you have to say that? But anyway, my brother had a MySpace and he had a Facebook. Uh-huh. Um, But I told him I wasn't allowed to have a Facebook. But I said, right, I'll just keep it MySpace because I'll keep forgetting. So he made me a, a MySpace. And then I guess they jumped like six months later. Facebook like. Ooh, Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> Facebook. Facebook was getting real popular. So. This one time, my parents were arguing, my stepdad and my mom. Yeah. 
and I was like, I'm gonna make a Facebook. And I think one of my little sisters was like, Mommy said you're not supposed to. I was like, What well, are they arguing? They got more stuff to worry about. They ain't worried about me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they ain't worried about me. It was funny though, because they was arguing about it was, they was arguing about where her boyfriend was. And <laughs> it was my stepdad was getting jealous. <laughs> my mom was like, Y'all see my boyfriend? Where my boyfriend at? And she was just walking around the house. So I was like, it's just free will. Everybody do what they want. I'm going to make me a Facebook. <laughs> I just imagine you was like, oh, it's an apocalypse. I'm going to make you a Facebook. <laughs> Since we all do. You we had won't. to be on a desktop. Yeah. And I was downstairs just standing there like. Oop. I'm going to make me a Facebook. <laughs> oh, I can't, I said, I can't really see how you stand there. I but standing there because we had no chair. <laughs> I was like, go make me a Facebook. <laughs> That's funny. And you needed a desktop for that, man. Yes. What was the other question I asked you? Now it looks weird on desktop. Yeah. Now I'm not used to it. Now I really want the app version of it. <laughs> That's so stupid. Give me the app. Yeah. It's easier. It's easier. I could walk around with it. I used to be jealous of people that was um in class with it. Like, when the uh when the sidekick came out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was to be jealous of people that was able to get on websites and stuff. Like I didn't really get my first cell phone until like eighth grade, ninth grade. That's good. Yeah. Who would bad? I didn't really care. I didn't really care until girls was like, Oh, I'm gonna text you. I'm like, mm, I don't have text. I hated calling <laughs> house phones. Yeah. Like I still I think I still have yeah. House phone was my I friend. That. House phone was my best friend. I used to love it. Well, I didn't but love your it. Mom couldn't I hate it. it. I hated it because I couldn't. I felt like I was always being listened and listened. Listened to. Listened. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. I felt like somebody was listening to me. There you go. Instead of trying to make it past tense. <laughs> yeah, it was annoying. You sitting there like, hey, I'm trying to. Hello? Can yeah. I speak to Nicholas? Yeah. Hold on. Dick. Yeah, I feel like they got, always got mad. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just want to talk to him. I don't know who it is, but it better be off the phone before Poor I dance. need the phone later on. So don't be on the phone. <laughs> okay. Remember when you didn't want to hang up? Cause yeah. you, I mean, you didn't want to go eat because you had to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was some nice days. Or my mom would be mad at me because I fell asleep with the phone on. Mm-hmm. And now she's like, she couldn't find the phone. So now she's mad because it's <laughs> off the hook. <laughs> and she can't find the phone. <laughs> oh, man. I I hate it those days. I love it though. Yeah. Back in the simple days, simple times. Yeah. I hate it being sneaky. That's why I refuse to do it now. Boy, would be like, knock on the door twice and then stand there. No. Yeah, I was uh honk- honking. Like I wasn't that guy, but I was like making sure that I won't be that guy when mm-hmm. I drive my car. <laughs> Basically. What replaced that was texting you when I pull up. Yeah, I'm at the door. Yeah, I'm outside. Instead of honking, now it's just texting you. Mm-hmm. What's funny? I'm a. You should. Somebody should. Uh, somebody should do a list of things that is replaced. Like guys even, don't come out of the walk you to the door no more. They just stand there in the car and wait for <laughs> you to walk in. I hate that. I remember this one meme that said, "If he don't wait for you to go in the house, he don't love you." What happened to just coming to my door? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, like, does that still happen? No, no, I don't think that's that far. I think on the first date, the very first, like, a first yeah. blind date, probably, probably. Honestly, don't think that's still a thing. That's not. I mean, I feel like it's not a thing yet that people still walk to you to your door, like, especially if you live in the city, kind of have no choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially if y'all walking. I don't know. I, I don't think that's that far fetched yet. I think if it's like, um, uh, I mean, obviously, sending letters is out of date. I still love that though. Yeah, it's a nice gesture. It is. It, it, it I got should. Some stamps. I'll send you some. <laughs> it seems like it should be more of a romantic thing now. Yeah. Now that you, uh, like, special. Uh, now that it's not a thing, 
it should seem more romantic. Mm-hmm. It's just like how I used to think beautiful. Like I used to think calling a girl beautiful was like better than any other guy because nobody's saying beautiful. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like saying she she's sexy or she's cute or mm-hmm. something like that. And I was like, oh, you're beautiful. And they'd be like, oh. Like, yeah, and I used to say the sweetheart thing. That used to be just what I normally would say. Mm-hmm. Then I got older now. Everybody says beautiful, gorgeous. And I was like, well. Beyond compare. Yeah. And then I lost the sweetheart thing. And I, I I I still can't get myself to call a girl I'm with princess. Let's just say that to your daughter. Yeah, <laughs> like I probably could, but I'll probably call a little girl if anything. Little girl. <laughs> hey, princess. Yeah. Prin- I feel like if you was just a random guy and you said, "Excuse me, sweetheart," I'd be like, "Excuse yeah. me." Sometimes I used to think of the bass and the voice, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of like, hey, you know. I don't what? know what girl will say. I don't want no guy with any bass in his voice. Yeah, you know? I no. mean, sometimes it's like, you know, you got to have a little bit of, a little raspiness with it, you know what I'm saying? You're you so know. extra. I ain't extra. You want to hear all about it, though. No. I know. Yeah, you do. Mm. It's all for you. Take us home, This Mickey. one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you thought it was over? <laughs> 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 okay. Um, we have 50-something. Yeah, yeah, mm. If you like... Oh, we're making brownies after this. Oh, I'm excited. What's the difference between brownies and fudge brownies? I have no idea. I, I see that, know though. Mr. Baker. Yeah, I used to really want to be a baker. A pastry chef, my bad. Mm. It's still a thing. I still wouldn't mind doing it. I, I don't think the passion is behind it. Like I like doing these videos. He's <laughs> okay. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment below, comment a hashtag. How about that? Oh, Since yeah. this is the hashtag episode. Hashtag Valentine's Day ain't no joke. Yeah. Hashtag. Hashtag Valentine's Day. You don't need no monkeys anymore. I mean, you don't need teddy bears anymore. You need bear uh, monkeys. You don't need teddy bears anymore. You need monkeys. All that. I mean, yeah, literally all, all of that. Of that. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And the, I mean. Correcting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what you're trying to say. Yeah. What you doing for Valentine's Day? I don't know. You got your side piece coming? Mm-hmm. She said she'll be around like two. So she don't want to conflict with you. She sure don't. Yeah. Don't I don't share. Sure don't. Well, you technically are if you, you know that I got a side piece, but you're still here. Yeah. So you're sharing. That's right. You just don't see yourself sharing it. So who's the weekend, me or her? Who's the weekend? I guess. I guess you. I'm the side piece. You like nine to five. I'm the weekend. No. Mm. But the question is, how many times they see during the week? Right. Maybe see you like twice a week. So y'all probably the same amount of time. I got to work. <laughs> Who's that person she's talking about yourself. that don't work? Yeah. <laughs> you must don't work. Your side piece ain't got no job. Huh? You got okay. no job. You just mess with the side piece during the week though. All right, well, my gift better be more expensive than hers. Just saying. I got I got you a mug. And I got her a sippy cup. That's better. Because she my baby. Uh, that was terrible. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> Little, we went to Pedophile Alley right there. <laughs> that was cute, though. <laughs> that was so terrible. All right. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment a hashtag below, share, subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday. Yeah. Whatever six, that Tuesday is. Six. Sixth of February? God dang. Yeah. All right. We'll see you then. Well, maybe not. Tuesday is the second. The six, yeah. The six. There you go. Gosh. We'll see you the six. Well, all these refund checks pop in. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about refund checks. What? This podcast is over. <laughs> no, it's not. We yes, can, it is. We can add like eight more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know just you want to talk about it. <laughs> Why? Why are we talk about it? <laughs> it's a podcast. That's what you talk about. Talk about refund checks? Yeah. What you what? gonna spend it on? What you gonna spend it on? Hashtag. Hashtag. What you gonna spend? What you spend that tax refund on? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Hashtag, what you, what you spending that refund check on? Hashtag, gonna pay all your bills and get you a new iPhone. <laughs> Hashtag, refund check ain't gonna be that good to get an iPhone X. But, For real, not at our age. But, I'll save up for it. You you know what Trending. I hate? Is that millennials think they entitled to a big tax refund. Yeah. There was well, this girl I heard talking and she was like, I ain't gonna say no names. Yeah. But she she was like, I should at least get like a thousand in high school, had one job. And I don't think they understand how tax works. I really don't think so either. I think they just, they heard from other people who have kids and such and such. And they got a full check. Oh, the ones with kids, though, they have a lot of money. Yes, they do. They get like, I think you, they say that you get like five off rip just for having kids. It's like, where are y'all, where is this money going? Y'all could, I would want to invest in all of that. Getting money every year. <laughs> so like in the middle of that, you was crying. Yeah. I would invest. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like my mom had five kids. I, we should We should all have a college fund. What happened? <laughs> not funny. So sad. It is sad. <laughs> it's frustrating. We should have a college fund. I remember my grandfather gave us stock bonds or something. What's those things? The little certificates? Uh, ticket to Chuck E. Cheese. No, those the, little big uh, tickets. Willy Wonka tickets. Yeah. Basically. You are annoying. What you doing with your tax refund? Saving it. That's it? It's going to the Canada. Yeah, mine is too. Car- oh, wait. Mine's oh, gone. Canada. Oh, no, that's not how sea it goes. so shining. Sea. Yeah, I don't think that's how it goes. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm going to pay some of my mom's bills and, uh, yeah, Canada. And hopefully, save. Hold on. Hopefully. Pay some of my bills too. And then I'm going to I wanna go to that Harry Potter thing. How much was that? I had to stop. White. Rewound it. I had to stop watching it because I felt like I was getting all the experience already. Sure I was. wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's yeah interesting. It, was, it was like a good style. It's a lot of people, too. It's a lot of people there. Yes. It, like all throughout the year. But I feel like they old. It's going to be a lot of old people. So maybe I'll just be able to scoop, scoop, scoop. And if I'm getting a lot of money, I'm going to get a VIP pass. Nine times out of ten. I'm That's what I'm saying. When I go, we balling. <laughs> we need to just go. We could just go and have fun. Mm-hmm. That's why I said if I ever do the Six Flags trip, I got flash pads everywhere. I'm going, just yeah, going we, through the line. We going to the one in Jersey though. Mm-hmm. Really? I'm not getting no flash pads. Have you been to the Ohio weekend? one? No. Ohio one looks fun. That sound lit. It looks fun. That sound lit. We could just go. Uh, that would be a. No hotel fees if we go out there. Ghost ride the whip. Just take a flight to Philly. Drop our stuff. Go oh. to Ohio. Come back to Philly. Boom. I was like, you know something I don't know? Does Ohio not charge you to be at a hotel? <laughs> I was like, that's an interesting Hit trip. Hit your ride in my auntie house. Hit your ride in my auntie house. Hit your ride in my auntie house. Right. Um, Hit your ride. Until you figure well, out something wanted, else. I, no, I mean, we done. I just wanted to chime in tax refund. You know, just scooch it in there. We got some time. The yeah. last couple of ones, we've only been doing like 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. So this is like, this is probably the first one where it's almost at an hour. Yeah. We there. We good. I think we had a hour. I think we had a hour. Oh. oh. I swear sometimes. <laughs> I just get this weird, draggy feel. It's not even a thing. I have a question. Of what we won't talk about Might as well. really quick. Oh, uh, really? Of what we won't talk about on the podcast. And so what do you mean? I need to cut this part out? No. No. Is this, You think the video is over? Is it over? Because your thing just went off. No, it's not. It's not over. I mean, they're still recording it. Oh, okay. No, I mean, yeah, okay. Is it over? No. <laughs> You know how PG thirteen people say you should still talk about when a mommy cat and a daddy cat get together and they decide they want to have a baby. Do you still? Do you? Is that a good age? Is thirteen a good age to talk about? Yeah, because I would say because around that age, your kids are more interested. Well, granted, at middle school they really are still kind of yeah. interested in doing that stuff, but um, or just interesting to know about it. Yeah. 
So we could talk. We could talk about it on this show. About what? Not in detail. We, I'm trying to figure out where, where would this go. Is sex that important in your relationship? Check yes or no. Is Hashtag. Is Ed important in a relationship? It's, well, you're taking this no, class not together? No, Ed. Just in general. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Do you feel like you gotta or do you gotta? You mean do it for sex for Valentine's Day? Yeah. You do it for sex, yes. <laughs> There's a button. Oh, you stopped it that whole time. No. No. Oh. Okay, it's still recording. But what? You think? Is, no. I'm just saying, is that a good time? No, you okay. don't have to. No, you don't have to. I'm saying, is that a good... Can we talk about that on this podcast? I don't think we need to. I'm saying I'm off the rails. People Who talk knows? about sex at 13. So, what is what is inappropriate and what's not on this thing? On the thing? question is, is what the, what's the point? Like, I, I get we could talk about it, but it's like, why? Why are we bringing that up? Like, you, do you feel like normally sometimes we 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 pick up conversations because we thought about something, but we feeling something, and we kind of expressing it, and yeah. I get it, but I feel like people feel like they're obligated to have sex on Valentine's Day. I think we kind of covered that. They think they need people need to do things on Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Oh, we really didn't cover that, but we could talk we, about I mean, that on another did. episode. Yeah. We minimized it a little bit. Yeah. Well, next you gotta watch next week then. Take us home, Nikki. I'm sorry for all the <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. If you like this video, this long drawn out drawn out video, leave a like. And and you and if you're still here, leave the dog on like. <laughs> Should have said this earlier in the dog on podcast. I I know a lot of people I know that listens to this podcast, but y'all don't leave a like. Y'all know that helps us. Leave the dog on like. Share and subscribe and Maybe you should put this voice part in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna put this dead at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> the drug out drag is it drug out? Drug out. Drug out podcast. The drugged out podcast. That sounds like a little <laughs> everything sounds bad today. Drug- the drugged out podcast. That was uh, that was that was one of the names that was in the works. What? The drugged out podcast. <laughs> it was gonna be the hashtag the drugged out podcast. Hashtag drugged out podcast. I like the Your second favorite podcast is already a long hashtag. Yeah, yeah you should put that in there too. Hashtag your second favorite podcast. Mm-hmm. What was it? But I don't feel like the th- uh, I, I said it somewhere in here. Alright, so just remember. I'm at how I'm like frozen doing that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Stupid. It's done. Why are you saying? Yeah, it's done. Oh. It's done. Oh, it's not going to give me taking my headphones off. I always like when it did that.